What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we made some good progress. We made our way into uh, the backyard, we made our way to the school actually. It's nighttime. we have our flashlight out, it's looking awfully creepy, and we're about to explore. I hope you guys are ready, I, I'm certainly trying. Uh, we've got a decent amount of health, we've got plenty of bullets, so should it come down to it, we can actually, um, at least in my opinion, use that. I'm going to bump up the volume a little bit. For that full spook effect, once we get that music going, and um, yeah, one quick question, because I am probably going to play later installments in the Silent Hill series, for Silent Hill 2, and because I know people tend to watch, or more people tend to watch at the beginning of the series than later on, what are your recommendations for the original PlayStation 2 version of Silent Hill 2 versus the HD remake for the PlayStation 3? Please comment that below. Alright, that being said, let's... Let's enter the school. Cutscene or? Oh wow, this camera angle makes it seem like it's like first person. So the first thing, <clears throat> forgive my, my sinuses, I just had some spicy food. Oh, I didn't even see that we could change. How many floors are there? Okay, so this is the roof. There's a second floor that more or less mimics. Is there a math class? No, chemistry lab? Okay, we. I'm looking forward to that. Is there an infirmary? <laughs> Gotta be careful with that. Shout out to those of you that have watched my corpse party. Let's play. Oh wait, no, there is an infirmary. Guys, we have to look out for the infirmary. And it's immediately to our right. You know that's where we have to go first. That's You You know we're gonna try that door first. Ooh, this music. Do you hear that in the background? And then it looks like in the basement there's a boiler room and storage. So at first glance, I don't really have any particular area I want to go. I think we might want to try to make our way to the basement if we can, just because it'll be easier to kind of check that off our our, our list of places to explore because it's significantly smaller. The courtyard is always an option, although I'm sure as we try to explore, um, we'll be shown which places we can actually enter and which we can't. So on the right, it looks like we have our infirmary. We have some lockers over here. I'm sure I do need to explore these. I'm going to try to interact with them as I walk across them. No luck. Anything noteworthy on this poster? What does it say? I can't really tell. All right, well, let's try going in the infirmary. We can go in the infirmary, guys. Are we live in? <clears throat> Are we live in? You and I both know a lot goes down in the infirmary. Okay, so it looks like we can save in the infirmary. Very similar to Corpse Party. <laughs> so we'll save. And is there anything else? Those books look like they might be interactable. Um, what about this information? Anything in this closet here? It's a first aid supplies and all that. Can we use any of them? Oh, there's a health drink. We can take that. I did, I did elect to take it, right? Okay. And then it looks like there's a first aid kit here. Cool. So, the infirmary proving to be pretty helpful this time around, all things considered. Also, forgive me, I'm going to go blow my nose real quick. Spicy food, you know, really gets my, uh, my sinuses running. Okay. So now that we've saved our file with those items, anything under the bed? Anything outside the window? No? What about up against this wall? No? How about over here? Is that anything? No, doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything really of interest here. Which is surprising. So I guess we'll head out. Man, this perspective every time, it feels so first person. So let's, let's map a little plan of attack. Like I was saying, I do think clearing off the downstairs might be what's a bit easier. Oh, and it shows those little arrows near doors that we can actually walk in and out of. So let's, let's head this way. Um, camera. I'd like to see where I'm walking, if you don't mind. Can I go through here? I can't. It's locked. And let's see how that's marked on the map. It looks like it's just a, a flat line. My own, like, cursor was obscuring it a bit, but that's okay. Do we try going in the courtyard? Eh, not yet. I'd rather try to go into the reception. What's this on the desk here? 
Moore, Ronaldo, Gordon. This must be the list of teachers. Moore, Ronaldo, Gordon. Should I like be keeping track of that? I don't know. Anything in here? No, what's on the desk here? Oh my, there's, there's a lot of blood here with this note. <clears throat> it's written in blood. 10 o'clock, Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. Are we gonna are we gonna like have this in our inventory to re reference later on? Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. So obviously this is a clue that we're we're going to need, right? Alchemy Laboratory is probably referring to the chemistry lab. So we'll want to we'll want to take a look at that. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture of this with my phone just in case we don't have the option to to reference this again later and this is something i don't know if you guys have heard of the game dino crisis it's also part of you know the origins of survival horror from going back to the playstation one era uh i would i would definitely recommend it if you're into the survival horror and you know the history of the genre um but it doesn't keep track of a lot of things in game so you're having to write them down i had a little notebook that i was playing with it's written in blood, 5 o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Open time's door to beckon prey, and flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Interesting. So we're going to have to start some sort of fire to awaken the beast, and then obviously open the times, open a door um, in order to get the prey involved. Okay. Oh, I should probably check. Is this something I'm going to be able to reference later on? It does not look like it. Okay, then I'll take a picture of that too. Just because, again, I don't want to have to be like running all over the place trying to just re recall all these different clues. I might be able to, should I have been playing this on my own, you know, recall these things. And who knows, I might while playing this, but I do tend to forget things a little bit more easily when I am playing them for the YouTubes. So what do we have here? It's written in blood. 12 o'clock. A place with songs and sound. Okay, that's... Oh, you know, the previous one was probably talking about the boiler room, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's probably the boiler room. Um, but this one, a place with songs and sound, is probably the, uh, the music room. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues awakening at the ordained order huh okay so these are clearly clues that we need to implement at in at, for like numerous rooms throughout the place i'd imagine is this something on the desk i can take no okay then let's head into the reception room i'm just waiting for that first moment that i'm in a room and all of a sudden like a zombie is gonna break in from the ceiling or something what's this a picture of a door. That is a very odd picture. Are those bodies to the side of it? I don't know who drew it, but it is certainly in bad taste. Yeah, look at that door. That is that is a creepy looking door, and it looks like there are bodies on the side of it. Okay. Anything in the plant? No, this isn't Pokemon. Not going to find any leftovers there. What do we have here? Some ammo. Okay, always appreciated. Oh. Can I walk behind the couch? Can I check under the couch? Could use a few quarters or some leftover packs of gum. What's over here? Not really noticing a whole lot. All right, then we'll head out. Let's take a look at the map again, just to be safe. Reception. So the question mark is going to include, indicate some sort of clue. So I think what we'll want to do is head out to the left and check out those bathrooms and then the teacher's rooms. I feel like we'll have to eventually make our way to the boiler room by going uh, clockwise around the first floor or to an extent maybe up to the second floor and then clockwise around the second floor and then once we have access to that lower right staircase from a different floor, make our way all the way down. Either way, none of those clued rooms from those those messages we saw in blood uh, seem to be on this floor. Nevertheless, I'm sure there's plenty to to gain from exploring the area. It's locked. Well, there goes my whole guess of the uh, moving around, you know, in, in a 
clockwise fashion. So it looks like we're going to the courtyard. If there were anywhere to fight an enemy, as the music indicates, I would expect it to be here. The real question is, what kind of enemy is it? Are they just like on a routine, I don't know, path throughout the courtyard? Are they walking in a set pattern that I can try to avoid potentially? So I'm clearly at the opposite end of the courtyard. I wouldn't be surprised though if there were something hidden in the courtyard, right? That we need to explore to find. So I am going to walk the perimeter. And what do we have here? Something is locked. A golden sun. That's all? A golden sun. So I probably need to place something here. And if I recall correctly, <clears throat> we there was a message about that. Yeah, the first one was Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist, exchange for sage's water. So I feel like we'll need to go to the chemistry lab, get something golden, bring it here, and that's how we're going to get the sage's water. What the sage's water will be used for, I have no idea. But I'm very glad that we discovered this. Nonetheless, oh my, what are you? The tower door is locked. The hands are stopped at 10 o'clock. Okay, so that's another hint that it's the chemistry clue. But also, do you see that zombie behind us? Can I, can I get away? Oh my, there are a couple of them. So that's definitely different from before. Oh man, they're like little kids. Oh my, get off, get off. Okay, let's let's take a look at the map real quick. So before I panic and give up on all of the plans I have for exploring the place, do I want to take a look at the hall, the storage? I think just for the sake of completeness, can I get off, please? Wait, that thing has a knife? It killed me? I did not even realize I was taking that much damage. Like I'd been touched, like what, two, three, four, four times? Maybe? Wow, I did, I'm, I'm surprised that I took that much damage. Okay, so we last saved in the infirmary. Um, unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to walk out again and head over to the reception. I do think for the sake of, I don't know, I don't know if it's like depend if it'll affect like a potential ending or something like that. I do want to at least inspect all of the things I did prior, just so it's like the game acknowledges that our character has seen these things. It might be relevant to like oh a particular in-game item might not show up should you have not seen this clue ahead of time. Um, from the beginning of the game, with those three keys being able to be found prior to seeing that map, I don't think that'll be the case. However, I don't want to chance it, and if it has, you know, the op if we have the opportunity to save time in some regard, uh, I think that'll be, you know, something worthwhile. So we've taken a look at the painting. We can grab the ammo, and then we'll head out. And I think we'll pretty much be at the same spot. The other thing is, I can actually probably use my gun if I really want to, uh, because we don't really have a lot of space to to bob and weave around these. But I'm pretty sure our zombie kids actually. Um, so we can go here. The tower door is locked. Um, the hands are stopped at 10. So we can we can hurry up a little bit. Let's see here. This one says the golden. I also noticed there's a different one on the other side. Oh man, they are they are on us. What does this one say? A silver moon. Okay, a golden sun and a silver moon. Let's let's run away. That one has a knife. Dang, that that's kind of creepy. So, I do think I am going to switch to the gun, just because there will be two of them up here, and that's a little bit more, um, well, and, and we just don't have the space to run around as much, which makes it more difficult to really avoid them. So, what I'll do is, um, three, run, okay, turn around, one, two, three. The other question is, do they come back? Right? So presumably we'll find out. Each of them took three shots from close quarters, uh, which is worth noting. Oh man, they're standing back up. The lock is jammed, the door can't be opened. Do I try going to the left? Um, 
For the time being, I'll say so. Okay. I appreciate that the game at least indicates when you're in danger. Um, but we used six bullets, and we figured out that these things do stand back up. They're, they are zombies, so I can imagine, unless you, uh, <clears throat> in the words of a certain someone, aim for the head, uh, we're going to have a difficult time, you know, keeping them dead. But nevertheless, let's, let's check out what's going on here. Lock is jammed. Door can't be open. Okay, that's a bummer. Something on the side here we can look at? No? How about up here? What's going on here? A friend in need. Should I be checking all of these lockers? Probably not, given we didn't find something in the very beginning. I feel like that would have set the precedent. But this that door is locked as well. This, I think, should be the girls' bathroom. Oh, no, this is just the other teacher's room. So that lock is jammed as well. Is that a pupper? Aw, look at the pupper. Of course, in this context, even puppers can look kind of creepy. Uh, was this door jammed? Can we unlock it? It's unlocked. Nice. That's actually really reassuring that we can actually unlock various things and make our, our lives easier. So now I could go back to the infirmary and save after having survived you know, that encounter <clears throat> and marked up my map a little bit more. However, I would like to first take a look at these rooms and then maybe do so. So this is the girls' bathroom. <sighs> Just trying to uh, get off me, man. Stay down. Stay down. Okay, so it takes three shots for them to go down. Um, I thought that was something on the ground there. Right? Can I look in the different stalls? There's got to be a rationale for coming here. Right? Um, can we back up? We can. <sighs> well, I'll have to spend another bullet. <clears throat> this looks like it's something on the ground. Right? Like right here. Or is that just like a drain? I think it's just a drain. But I'd be really surprised if there was nothing at all of interest in this place. But that's kind of what it seems like. Which is a real shame. I guess like while that thing is down on the ground, oh! I spoke too soon. Alright, well, we'll try and bob and weave. That uh, that didn't go very well. Oh man, we're, we're low HP. Okay, so we'll use our one of our health drinks. I'm definitely underestimating the amount of um, damage those things do. So, we'll head out. Come on. To the door. What was that noise? Dang, that was that's a creepy noise. So, taking a look at our health. We're not in super hot status, uh, by any means. Let's see how much how we're doing on ammo. We still got plenty. Uh, maybe I should try and take those out with a steel pipe. I'll do that after saving. I don't hear the creepy noise, so maybe we can a little bit more calmly, safely inspect this bathroom. Is there really nothing in either bathroom? I feel like there would at least be something in the bathroom that had a uh, an enemy, right? That's kind of like how the game design works. The one that has a bit more risk to it is associated with somewhat of a reward. But, no, I'm not, I'm not getting anything. Alright, well, if I miss something, and it's important, do let me know if there was just something I was doing wrong there. Because I definitely don't want to miss out on that. Okay, let's go save in the infirmary. And I do think now that I actually have the option to save, um, well, I guess I could try going to the right side of the first floor. What do you guys think? Make a mad dash across to the other end? Could maybe give it a go. I'll definitely save, because I've explored quite a bit. 
But yeah, I, I could head back there and see what's going on, on the other side of the first floor. Although I do have a uh, suspicion that it won't be that convenient. Um, I could just run across here. It's probably not safer, but it might make it easier once I'm actually in that hallway. Eh, let's give it a go. Hope for the best. Oh, man. Yeah, they were waiting there right in the middle for me. Okay, let's see if we can go through here. We can. Oh, is there something still in here? The music is still going. What is that? Hello? That sound is so spooky. Was that an enemy? That that thing, that thing gave me the chills. What was that? Was that like a little toddler? Was that why it was so small and squeaky? <clears throat> I have no idea. Was I supposed to shoot it? Do I get something if I shoot it? I don't I don't know. That was creepy. <laughs> All right, so we know we can go here, and I do think this will lead to like the backyard of the school. So for the time being, I don't think I actually want to do that. I do want to explore what happens if we go to the left here. So, oh man, and that thing is gonna be all over us. Get off. Okay, run, 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 run. Can I go in this door? That lock is jammed. How about this one? Okay, I figured that would be the case. Oh no. All right, we're probably gonna die from this attack, yeah. So I'll need to use a health drink in order to, to survive it. All right, come on. Then we'll head over this way. <clears throat> so we can head up to the next floor. So here's a stairwell. What's, what's going on down here? Nothing inside. Okay. Anything in these lockers? No, it doesn't seem so. All right, then taking a look at the map, I think it makes the most sense to go, were we able to go in the storage room? <clears throat> yeah, I think we were, right? I don't even remember. Actually, no, we definitely weren't, weren't able to. That's like what the icon is telling us or what that red scribble is telling us. So I think we can go upstairs now and see what's going on. I do want to take a look at my health and see where we're at just for the context of if I do have something latch onto me, I should probably use a health drink. That said, we are, well, we're going through them. We have six of them. All right, let's listen. Are we in imminent danger immediately? Luckily not. Or at least so it seems. Do I go to the roof? I'm tempted to go to the roof while we're here, right? Because if I take a look at the map, the roof is something we can explore and kind of check off our list relatively easily. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, the, the structure of the second floor is very similar to the first. I'd imagine we'll be able to go across to the other side this time around. Yeah, let's, let's head up to the roof. See what we can find. I doubt we'll be able to do a ton up here. But, oh man, the lock is jammed. Oh man. Well, at least we have that uh, crossed off our list of places to explore for the time being. Huh? Um, where are you coming from, bud? That's not reassuring. Do we wanna to go to the left or the right? Let's try to go into this classroom. Okay, we can go in the classroom. What, and there's one of those in here? At least there's a health drink. So we'll definitely take that. Where is it? Can I use this? Anything I can use over here? Anything I can use over here? Oh, no, 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 no. It is, it is stabbing away. So we'll use that health drink we just got. I don't know if there's like a good way to mash out of those things. Oh, there are two of them? Okay. What? Come on. Oh, wow.
I feel like there might be something hidden on or in the desks. What's this? All right, looks like it's time to move on to the next room. <laughs> so that was that classroom. Now we are in this one. It doesn't sound like we're in imminent danger. And I'm getting a FaceTime call. Not a good time, not a good time. <laughs> It'll just be a few minutes. What do we have here? Mary? Mm, that's not the most pleasant of drawings. The American flag. Got a map. Is there anything on or in these desks? I feel like that's where one an important item would be hidden. But I'm not seeing it. Anything in these lockers? What about on here? Who are you? Fish tank, buckets, other supplies, plant pots, pictures of giraffes and dinosaurs and elephants. What's this? Anything on here? Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Again, if I'm missing something and you don't think I'll ever come back to it, like it would take forever of wandering around trying to figure out what I missed to actually get it, please do tell. That's not something I find very enjoyable. So I think next up is going to be the men's and women's bathrooms. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. I'm just waiting for something to jump out of one of those stalls. What? What? Holy crap. That just sent chills down my spine. It's like there's a girl, like, crying in one of the stalls. Oh man, that was... That was spooky. This game, I'm telling you, the, the graphics are not, like, you know, gonna blow your mind or anything like that, but the atmosphere and, like, the, the little... The little scares it does have are very well done so far. Okay, then to the men's bathroom. Yep, of course there's one in here. Alright. Kaboom! Kaboom! There are two of them! Kaboom! 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 What? Seriously? Ah, I couldn't see how close it was. Alright, get off. Stay down. I swear, there's got to be something in one of these. So, here's some bullets. Alright, I'm just going to run out at this point. <laughs> okay. Now, let's take a look at the map real quick just to be safe. I think I'm going to try going to the right here. I know that later on down this hallway there's going to be one of those guys. It's unlocked. Okay, then let's go through. Oh, and there's one of... They're in here too? Oh, I missed. I think it's the first time I've, like, missed. Okay, so let's take a look at the map real quick. What do we have available to us? We have the music room and we have the locker room. I wonder if these things come back, or am I actually, like, permanently killing them? Well, no. I, I know that they come back. Can you hear that? Can you hear how unsettling that is? We've entered the music room. Let's inspect first of all. Doesn't look like there's anything of interest on the walls. What's this here? Ooh, this is something. It's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes a crow, the, the bird of horror, um, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? So clearly this, this is about whatever bird it is, and I need to figure out um, which one I need to commit to. But eventually the silver reward is probably going to be that silver moon that we use for the sage's water in the, in the courtyard on the first floor, right? So let's see if there's anything we can do here that's relevant. 
So clearly there's this big piano. Do we need to find sheet music? It won't open. Ah, it doesn't look locked though. It won't open. So we're trying to open it. What if I check it from behind? It won't open. So is there maybe some other puzzle I need to solve before it'll open? Or let's see if I um, <clears throat> if I try hitting it with a steel pipe. <laughs> if that'll do the trick. I'm... <clears throat> darn. I, I don't think... I'm going to use a health drink just because I'm a little bit nervous. But I think... It's going to require a, a puzzle to solve. I do want to try fighting those things with the steel pipe. That was something I was trying to say earlier. So this is probably a decent time to do so. Let's plan where we want to go next. I could keep going right to the locker room. I think we could try to make a mad dash to the locker room. I think that's probably the most sensible option right now. Oh yeah, these things. Ah, oh, seriously? Get off of me! Come on. Okay. Mad dash. Oh, we overshot it. Okay, so... Hello? <laughs> oh god. It sounds like something's trying to break free. Oh man, here we go guys. No running or playing in the locker room. Nothing useful in the locker. How about this one? It sounds like something is trying to break free from one of the lockers. What the heck? Here we go, cutscene time. Is that a dog? No, a cat. Aw, kitty, don't leave me. What? What was that sound? Did it leave something behind? Nothing inside. Darn. Okay. Well, we'll keep taking a look at some of the lockers. Darn, that was a little unsettling. Nothing useful in that locker. How about this one? How about over here on the wall? Warning, don't forget to take all your possessions after using the lockers. Normal elementary school bulletin board. Nothing in particular here. Okay. I feel like... I feel like I'm missing something. But... But maybe not. So let's try going to the right. So we'll walk out and immediately go to the right. Oh, and it's not locked. Ah, oh, but we're still in danger. Alright, let's run across into the classroom. What is this sound, man? Okay, so we're in another classroom. Alright, we're gonna fight you with this. No, come on! Alright. Alright, this is not... It's not working out as well, guys. Alright, I can afford to take a little bit more damage. Ooh, double swipe. Really? Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna need another health drink. Yeah, these guys are taking quite a few hits. What? Alright, let me let me go. I I want that health drink or no, this is ammo. Okay. I think it's pretty clear that, uh, especially with how skilled I am with the steel pipe, it seems, it's probably best. Zoo, is there anything relevant? I don't think so. That's kind of what's annoying is I'm trying to find clues and I'm not, I'm, I'm not really seeing a whole lot. However, it does seem like I'm, I should have enough ammo to, yeah, I've got 168. I should just equip the gun and, and use it. Okay, anything of interest, anything of interest. Elephants, giraffes, the usual, class plant. 
I don't know. I'm trying to be, I'm like, you know, looking out for things, right? I'm trying to be observant. But at the same time, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that's really piquing my interest. And at this point, I mean, the classrooms are kind of like an alternative way to get down the hall. <clears throat> we could go into the library next. However, I do think that we're going to do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We found a little bit of a safe spot here, this classroom that we can chill in. We are a little bit far from a save point, which makes me a little bit nervous. But we'll see if we can even enter the library. And if so, we can make our way back to the stairwell and then hopefully get back to the infirmary to save. Or maybe there will be a place to save on the second floor. Who knows? Um, either way, the chemistry lab, the lab equipment room, I feel like those are going to be pretty fruitful rooms. And we already have... Oh, they already marked the piano in the music room. Okay, so we're identifying different pieces of the puzzle that we'll hopefully eventually be able to figure um, or figure out completely once we, you know, gather all the necessary data. And we have access to that stairwell in the lower right corner. So we have access to the, the right half of the first floor now. Um, and, and all that, that uh, could hold. And then, of course, the bottom floor with the boiler room and storage. So... There's still plenty to explore, plenty of puzzles to find, plenty of pieces to, to put together, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I mean, this exploring the school has definitely been a step up in the horror sense compared to the very beginning of the game. In the dark, the noises these things are making, the little ambiance type uh, scares, like the, the weeping in the girls' bathroom, right? That little like toddler-like thing that wasn't attacking me but was clearly making the noise of an enemy. Those are the sorts of really unsettling things. I do think the the fact that these zombies come back is really uh, is kind of annoying. Um, I get I get it though. I get the the game design decision, but it's just a, it's just a little bit rough on the uh, the health drink inventory. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this one and are looking forward to the next episode. But until that next episode, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.